Hi kids, it's Miss Heidi again from the Paradise Center for the Arts and I am gonna read you another book. This one's called The Wild Baby and it's by Barbara Lindgren and Eva Erickson, but it was adapted from a Swedish book by Jack uh, Prelutsky. Let's see if I said that right, I hope I did. Take my glasses off so that I can see a little bit better and I'm gonna step to the side so that you all can see the pictures. Did I ever tell you my two boys are named Sam and Ben? So I have a lot of Sam books and a lot of Ben books. And this book is about a baby named Ben. Mama loved her baby Ben, her small and precious child, but he always disobeyed her. He was reckless, loud, and wild. He disappeared one morning when he should have been in bed. She found him sleeping soundly in the wooden clock instead. He crept into her room one night. She snored and didn't hear. And softly as the slyest cat, he climbed the chandelier. He gangled, dangled there until it broke and then hurried out as mama woke. He fell into the toilet bowl, and so he had to shout, Mama, hurry, help, I'm stuck. Please, Mama, get me out. Mama rushed in, terrified, and quickly pulled him back outside. He clambered up the kitchen sink and dove in for a swim. He broke a lot of dishes. Mama really scolded him. How come you never let me play? He grumbled as he stormed away. He crawled into a big blue sack and left without a sound. Poor Mama hunted vainly, but baby Ben could not be found. But late that night, the big blue sack marched right into the hall. Hello, said baby Ben, I'm back. She hugged him, sack and all. She took him out to get some air, but all at once he wasn't there. She shuddered as a car sped by and surely was about to cry, but then she spied him in a tree. Relaxing on a limb, she sat below, so when he fell, she softly cushioned him. Soon afterward at lunchtime, baby Ben grew very ill. He had spots and dots all over with a fever and a chill. The mom was crying. So mama put her Ben to bed. She held his hand and stroked his head. She kissed his nose, she rubbed his ears. He soon was well. She dried his tears. What happy noises then they made as all that night they danced and played. One day she took him for a stroll. They walked and walked for hours. And when they reached a grassy knoll, she stopped to gather flowers. But as she picked a small bouquet, he tiptoed off and slipped away. When mama saw he wasn't there, the tears streamed down her face. She wept and wept in great despair. He's gone without a trace. I'll never find him in the wood. My baby Ben is lost for good. Then suddenly, out popped his head. A wolf just licked my face, he said. I licked him back and he ran away. We won't see him again today. Mama broke into a smile and hugged him tightly for a while. She bundled home her baby Ben. Of course, he's since run off again. The end, another silly book about a silly baby boy.